Okay, so this is uh, my first Arduino project uh, that I've built. It's based around the Arduino Uno Rev3. And basically the system that I've created was um, a way to manage an otherwise quite manual system. Uh, it's a water system uh, in which there are two water tanks, one water pump, a couple uh, user and as well as water uh, tank level sensors, uh, as well as some uh, outputs, uh, some water solenoids. And I basically need to have a logic and a brain, and that's where I came in with the Arduino. And I basically uh, wanted to set a certain set of conditions. You know, one uh, only one thing can be filling at a time, uh, certain de time delays, and, and what have you. And that's where I needed a logic, and I couldn't just do your, a traditional control panel where um, it's just properly wired in a junction box. So basically what I've got here is I've got a nice fiberglass uh, exterior enclosure. Uh, front of this box, I've got some pilot lights indicating the conditions uh, or the status of each uh, input and output, uh, as well as a manual override switch that should the, uh, the pump need to be turned on manually. The water solenoids can be activated just by twisting their heads and, and them going on manually as well, uh, just as an added feature. Uh, the way I've got it set up here, and this is only temporary, I've still got to put this USB weatherproof uh, panel mount connector. Uh, these uh, essentially would be my three inputs. Uh, two water tank level sensors and a manual input, which I've just got a selector switch on here for, for testing. Line power in, uh, line power out for the pump, and then your three outputs, uh, which are three water solenoids. So we'll take a look inside. Part of this system, we've got the Arduino Rev3 Uno, uh, as well as down here on the bottom, AC line bus with circuit breaker, single pole circuit breaker, uh, AC motor contactor, uh, motor outputs uh, and then as well as our inputs and outputs. I've got DC outputs, uh, DC inputs rather, and uh, AC outputs for the solenoids. Here I've got our protected bus as well as a, a 12 VDC output uh, power supply, small power supply, uh, as well as um, a 24 volt AC protected bus, 12 VDC protected bus, a couple slim, uh, slim line uh, Fender relays, our Arduino obviously. Up here we've got a small control transformer that you find uh, in your HVAC system. Uh, this is to get uh, power for the solenoids. And here uh, is our Sane Smart uh, low uh, level logic relay board to take the uh, Arduino logic uh, out to uh, larger relays to handle the load. You just need something small enough to handle, um, to be under uh, that threshold of that, what the Arduino uh, can handle in each pin. Uh, up to the door, I've got a nice little dar door harness up to some pilot lights and a selector switch uh, that I showed you on the front side. So let's turn this guy on. Let me just put the breaker. Now the system is live and I can show you what's going on. First thing I'll show you is the manual pump switch. Now the pump is on. This is just turning the pump on and that's it and this light basically. Uh, and everything else would have to be done manually after. It's just I thought would be a nice feature if it had to come down to that. And now I'm going to show you the first inputs. Uh, these are micro switches. This actually is inside the uh, the water tank sensor. It's just encapsulated. And so I'm going to turn it on. Now the light's on, telling me which uh, pump's going on. Uh, it turns on the solenoid, opens that up, and then a three second delay to turn the pump on. Turn it off, now the pump's off, there'll be a three second delay for the solenoid to close again. Switch two, same deal. Solenoid's open, now pump's on, tank's full, pump's off, and now the solenoid will let the water back out for three seconds. Not totally sure, I'll probably have to play with it in the field uh, to get that synchronization just right. Uh, and then our selector switch will be field mounted probably in a junction box just for more manual use. Um, but it uh, is really just turning on a solenoid, so I'm gonna, you're going to see that guy come on. And this is just drawing off of, um, the one of the water tanks. Um, so obviously, uh, you know, if you used up all the water with this manual guy, uh, it's gonna, you're going to find out, and then you're going to have to turn this off. And it'll wait in line and pick up the, uh, the other inputs from these water level tank sensors. And that is pretty much it. This is the uh, first project with the Arduino. I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out so far. Uh, we'll wait to see. Uh, there's some minor bugs and kinks to work out with um, some um, 
uh, sensor issues, but uh, I think um, a lot of it will have to work out in the field anyways. Thanks for watching.